Well, ladies and gentlemen, I am Brad with UnwiredView.com. Today we're going to be showing off the box and the phone, the Motorola Click 2, right here. So this one is naturally the sequel to the Motorola Click, also available on T-Mobile, as it were. Now, uh, this phone here is actually already available on T-Mobile, so if you like what you see in this video, you certainly can go and pick it up right away. So, let's get to it, shall we? Let's get started with the box of the Click 2. Checking it out, of course, with T-Mobile, uh, they are uh, one of the few out there that like to go with different boxes for uh, each of their products. It always seems like Sprint and AT&T, um, even Verizon for the most part, all have the same kind of box, pretty much with every single phone. So it's always nice to see. Um, there it gives us uh, a few things about <clears throat> what's included. Other than that, not much on the outside of the box. So, looking here, there we have the phone, start guide and other paperwork underneath, before you turn it on, okay, then we have the battery, the wall charger that has the USB port in it, along with the, uh, of course, the actual USB port, or USB cable, excuse me, and the headphones. Also, it's nice to have a back, or a battery cover. So. Those are the elements of the box for the Click 2. The Click 2 is a very comfortable fit in my hands. Uh, one thing of note is it went from 3.1 inch in the original Click to the 3.7 inch screen. Now you've also of course got a little bit thicker build than your typical Android phone just because you have that full keyboard that you have access to. Now with that said, uh, let's take a look at the keyboard itself. It's a, the most unique keyboard I have ever seen on a phone, quite frankly, because it kind of looks like a little beehive or something. Now you take a look at uh, the shape of each of these keys, it's uh, hexagonal. And it's kind of hard to see at this angle, so I'm just going to try to give you a few different angles for it. But it's actually one solid piece here. Um, this whole thing is just, it's basically all the keys are just built into a, just a flat piece and then there's little mounds coming up above that piece uh, that give the keyboard its shape. Very interesting. Uh, a couple things that I really like about the keyboard just at first sight is there is a dedicated at button and there's also a comma uh, and a uh, period button as well. And uh, so there's always something that I'm looking for in keyboard. So just keeping that in mind as we look for uh, other things, other first impressions of the device. Um, not a ton just to start off with. So, let's go in uh, and turn the phone on. Uh, also, one other side note about the uh, design of the Click 2. Uh, the back here, the battery cover, has a nice texture to it. Very uh, grippable, certainly. Uh, only the middle part here is uh, smooth. So I really like that kind of back cover to it. So it doesn't make it uh, incredibly bulky, but at the same time it just helps keep it so it's not so smooth and like the, the glossy plastic that we've seen on uh, some other phones as of late. We also have a 5 megapixel camera with the LED flash. So just a couple things that I wanted to show. Okay. Going in, we are running Android 2.2 on this, the uh, the Froyo. So definitely an improvement over <clears throat> what we uh, originally had on the Click. So this one, of course, running the Moto Blur. So when I went into logging for the very first time, I was required to set up my Moto Blur account. And this is great because no matter which Moto Blur phone I go to, I can always retain the same kind of information regarding my uh, Google accounts and my social networking and things like that. So it's just a few things to note. Now, as far as looking at the phone itself, this one it comes with a, a gigahertz processor. Not sure uh, on exactly the specifics of uh, what exactly what type of gigahertz processor it is, but I'll get more information on that for the review. Uh, but looking at this thing. Uh, when you include it with the 512 megabytes of RAM on it, it's running super fast. There's really no uh, taking extra time to catch up 
like just even simple acts of scrolling. A lot of times with slower phones, you'll notice that it takes extra time to, uh, to catch up after your scroll is done. So <clears throat> I really like seeing that. And then just going in, moving left and right. Looks, uh, looks relatively speedy. So these are just a few things that I look at for first impressions. Just to throw a few specs out at you, the Click 2 is a gigahertz processor with 512 megabytes of RAM. Uh, it runs Android 2.2, also known as Froyo. So you're going to be able to have the Flash uh, mini player on, uh, on the phone using the browser. Uh, we also have a 3G mobile hotspot on here. And <clears throat> a few other things about it, a few other notes. Uh, this one is weighing in at just uh, over six ounces. So it is a little bit heavier than your standard phone that comes complete with uh, a full keyboard. So keep that in mind. Uh, it does feel like a solid phone because of how heavy it is, uh, but that could be a significant factor in your decision-making process if you're uh, just looking at a whole bunch of different Android phones to choose from. Also, with this, uh, just one thing I forgot to mention with the mobile hotspot is it does up to five devices. So, um, battery life, it's rated at just shy of eight hours, which I'll, I'll be very interested to see if I can get similar battery life out of it. Um, just because eight hours for an Android um, is always impressive, if, because that's talk time, of course. And lastly, but not least, uh, there's also a micro SD card slot in here. It comes included with two gigs of uh, storage space on that micro SD. But, uh, of course, that's not very much. Certainly, I would recommend getting a larger micro SD card if you don't already have one, sticking it in there to be able to play most of your music and movies and photos and things like that. Uh, simply because having the 2 gig card in there, really, that's all you get. Um, there's only about 300 megabytes of total uh, internal storage space on this. So that's, uh, that's not very much, uh, especially for a mid-range Android device like the Click 2. So definitely you'll need to depend on the micro SD card for your main amount of storage. There you have it everyone. Uh, this is a general overview and uh, first impression of the Click 2. Uh, so far, I like the way it feels on my hand. Uh, it's actually very similar to the Evo Shift 4G in, in the sense where even though it has that full uh, QWERTY keyboard, which does make it thicker, having that 3.7 inch screen, uh, if it were larger, it would just feel like it's a, a total huge boat. But at least with this one, it, it grips very well in my hand. I don't have to worry too much about it slipping out. Um, also, that is in part due to having this battery cover here which just gives it extra gripping capability anyways so and then also as far as the keyboard is concerned with the keyboard having the the whole hexagonal uh, shaped keys it's very interesting in fact it, at first impression it, the keys themselves feel kind of uh, stiff and they're hard to press even though they are spaced out due to um, due to the race keys. So I'm interested to see if I can break it in a little bit and if I get used to the typing. Um, but I'll give that uh, more information to you on that when we get to the full review. So for right now, that is my first impressions and unboxing of the Motorola Click 2. Uh, it comes on T-Mobile. So it is available right now. You can definitely pick it up.